So now in addition to that selection menu, I'm going to add in a couple of additional text boxes right next to it. So to start, I'm just going to add in a paragraph tag up here as well as a paragraph tag down here to close it off to put that around my selection menu. And then from here, I'm going to add in credit card number along with an input box with a name that's equal to credit card number type that is equal to text box. And then from here, I'll have a size that's equal to 16 and a max length that's equal to 24, simply because most credit cards have a number of digits that's equal to about 16. Then from here, I also need to do my expiration date. I'm going to have an input with a name that's equal to expiration date a type that's equal to text a size that's equal to 10 then a max length that's maybe equal to 15 and then close that off as well. So then from here, a couple of other things I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the multiple here. Don't need that in there anymore. Um, and I'm going to take out the selected here because we were just playing around with those options. So I want to make sure this is set back to our default. So here, if I run, you can now see I have my drop down menu with my credit card number and my expiration date. So at this point, you should have at least this portion of your order form done. We'll take a break there to let you process all of those new input controls that you've recently added in. And you can work on worksheet 6B. So at this point, this is what you should see on your order form. And we'll actually dive in and start doing some radio buttons and some text area boxes within the next lesson.